Right, okay, let's have a strum. One, two, three, four. Nice, right? But did you know that there are other ways of strumming without using one of these little plectrum thingies. So put the plectrum down for a moment and let's try and unlock another level of playing with this simple finger strumming technique. This strumming pattern uses only your thumb and your first finger. And we're only gonna be using the A major chord, the E major chord and the D major chord. And you'll see why as we go along through this beginner's strumming tutorial. So first, let's look at what the thumb does with these three chords, and then let's do a little practice with it. For the A, D, and E major chords, the thumb is gonna play the lowest notes of those chords. If you look at the diagrams here, you'll see the lowest note that we can play for each chord. So for the A chord, it's the fifth string, this one here. For the D chord, it's this fourth string here. And for the E chord, it's the sixth string here. And those strings are known as the root notes, the lowest note of those chords that we can play. For this first of two strumming techniques, you're gonna play the root note of each chord on the first beat of the bar and no more, that's it. So this is our chord progression and the thumb is gonna do this. One, two, three, four. 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 Really, we don't need to fret the A chord, the D chord, or the E chord for the moment because you're only playing the open A string the open D string and the open low E string. And this is the reason why I chose these three chords, A, D and E, to start this series of finger strumming lessons. So let's have a go together. We're gonna to do this with the same chord progression and finishing on the A chord. And it'll just be the thumb playing those three open strings, the open A, the open D and the open low E string. So let's have a go together. One, two, three, four. 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 So that's it. Why don't you pause the video for a moment and just go round it a few times by yourself or just rewind it and play along with me. So that's what the thumb does the whole way through this particular chord progression. Just plays on the first beat and no more. The first beat of each bar, I should say. But what about the finger? What's this finger going to do? Well, for the whole of each bar, it's gonna play the same thing. And I'm gonna put on the screen now the uh, pattern that you're gonna use. So as I said, the first beat is played by the thumb and then everything else is the finger's job. And it starts on the and of the first beat, which would typically be an up strum if you were using a plectrum. And then it just continues. Down, up, down, up, down, up, until the end of the bar. So you've got thumb on the first beat and then one and becomes our first finger strum on the up and then two and three and four and, and then it repeats. So I'm gonna show you how this sounds just using the A major chord. And I'm only gonna play the finger part. I'm not gonna play the thumb part just yet, just so that you can really hear what that first finger is doing and what it should sound like. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. One 
And the finger, your finger will always start with an upstroke and at the end of each bar it will finish with an upstroke. So this is how it sounds using the thumb and the first finger together. And again I'm just going to use the A major chord. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one. So let's put this together, we'll practice it slowly to give you a chance to get used to the thumb and the first finger working together. And remember, just the A major chord. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, and two and three and four and one and two and So now we're going to put all three chords together and it's going to use this short chord progression, two bars of A, two bars of D and two bars of E and then finishing on a, an A chord to kind of round it up nicely. One and two and three and four and... So that's a really great way of strumming and that particular thumb and first finger pattern works really well on many many slow type songs or even mid-tempo songs and I actually stole this technique or the basics of this technique from Paul McCartney. Now if you've ever watched Paul McCartney's Give My Regards to Broad Street then you'll have seen him do Yesterday and Here, There and Everywhere. What do you mean you haven't watched it? It's a fantastic film. And if you watch him play, he does this particular type of strumming pattern. His is slightly more complicated than the one I'm showing you, but this gives you a really good approximation of it. And I love it. In fact, I love that film. Yes, I'm going to hold up my hand and say I love that film. Anyone else agree with me? So let's play this together. So it'll be two bars of A, two bars of D, two bars of E, two bars of A. That's the whole chord progression. Then we go round the whole thing one more time. Now let's do it. And let's do Paul McCartney proud. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one. One of the things with using your hand instead of a plectrum to play is that you do need to be pretty loose. You don't want to be uh, you don't want to be tense here, and uh, otherwise you'll have you know you'll be you'll pick very hard. And you'll go like this, which is not really what you want. So try. I know it's difficult at first, but try, try, try to loosen up your your strumming hand. Okay, to give you this. Probably.
hopefully for a while you're going to hit all sorts of strings as you try to do this. Right? Again, that's natural. So you will need to take this nice and slow as you practice. So when you're doing your daily 15, 30 minute practice session, take your time over it. Get used to putting the thumb on the string and the first finger doing that rhythm. But don't skip your practice sessions. Before we go into the slightly more advanced version of this finger strumming technique, why don't you hit that subscribe button, the like button, and stay tuned for more content just like this for complete beginners. The slightly more complicated version of this finger strumming pattern has you using your thumb not only on the first beat of the bar, but now also on the third beat. So let's have a little practice of just the thumb and we'll use the um, A major chord again and, and that's all. And we'll just practice this together. So come on, let's do this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just this, that's all the thumb's doing. On the first and the third. And that will be the same for the D major chord and the E major chord. So for the D major chord, you'll be playing the open D string, the fourth string on the first and third. And for the E major chord, you'll be playing the low E, the sixth string on the first and the third beats. And just a quick reminder, remember the order of the strings. The low string is six, then five, four, three, two, one. And so therefore, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just a quick reminder. So with the thumb now playing on the first and the third beats, what's your first finger going to do? Well, it's basically the same thing, but now this finger is interrupted by the thumb. And so it's going to sound like this. Have a listen. One, two, three, four. diagram of the pattern that you're playing and you can see that the first finger is now playing on and to and and then and for and because on the one and the three that's where your thumb is now playing so here's that same chord progression from earlier but we're going to now do this with the new pattern all right so have a listen first and then we'll practice together one and two and three and four and. In fact, when I can't find my plectrum, usually because my little girl has borrowed it, uh, this is how I play. I mean, I really love it. I think it's such a wonderful way of playing. So let's do this together. We'll go around the chord progression three times and then finish on the A chord to give it a bit of closure. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one.
anything new that you learn, the beginning is always going to be a little bit tricky. So, you know, don't get discouraged, you know, don't give up after five minutes. Give it a chance. So I would recommend really practicing every day. Are you putting in at least half an hour a day? You know, it doesn't have to be all at once. A little bit in the morning, a little bit in the evening, a bit of supper time, and you'll slowly build up your guitar playing ability. Honest. Listen, I'll be honest with you. After all that particular McCartney-esque strumming, I was feeling a bit nostalgic and I really fancied watching a bit of that uh, Give My Regards to Broad Street. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find the VHS anywhere. So, I still want a, a bit of McCartney. So, what do you think? Should I go for this or maybe this here? Or do you think I should go for this? Let me know down in the comments. I hope you got value out of this McCartney style strumming pattern and I hope that the noise coming from outside didn't disturb you in any way. So listen, smash that like button and thanks for joining me today. Happy strumming. Way too high.